वन थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग मी ऑन दिस वीडियो आई एम डॉक्टर भावना नायर आई एम प्रोसिडॉन्टिस बाई डिप्रेशन टूडे दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डेडिकेट टू ऑल द डेंटल एजुकेशन आउट देयर सो दैट दे अंडरस्टैंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन प्रॉब्लम दैट दे माइट फेस और दे आर ऑलरेडी फेसिंग माई यूजिंग द डेंचर एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एजुकेट यू अबाउट दिस सेम so the most common problem as a denture wearing patient you will be having while using denture for extended period of time would be the problem of loose dentures now the first and the foremost uh, factor the most important factor because of which your dentures can become loose is prevalent within your cell it is the amount of bone that goes on reducing as uh, a part of the process of aging so whenever uh, you retain your natural teeth the what happens is your natural teeth they have uh, fibers around it which will help to maintain a very strong grip with the bone so the level of the bone is maintained and as in when you go on losing your teeth the fibers also are lost along with that so what happens is uh, as as you lose the fibers around your teeth the level of the bone also goes on reducing in the first year it will be minimal but as your age progresses because of various other factors because of nutritional deficiencies and so many other uh, factors in your body itself the bone is going to undergo shrinkage or the technical term that we use is resorption the amount of the bone it will go on reducing and there's nothing that your dentist or you can do about it it's a very common phenomenon so this is the main factor because of which your dentures will become loose over a period of 2 to 3 years so uh, as the bones and the underlying gums they undergo shrinkage the size of the denture remains the same but the underlying bone and the gums is uh, they are going to undergo shrinkage so the fit that once was developed when the dentures were delivered to you it has changed now so eventually what happens is your denture becomes loose so how do we go about this all you have to do is you have to make an appointment with your dentist visit your dentist the dentist is going to assess your dentures uh the dentist will assess whether the oral hygiene of the denture is maintained properly if the teeth that are there uh, the height of it uh, is maintained if they are worn off or not so if everything is okay there is a process called as realigning wherein we have to add up the amount of material a very small amount of material towards the tissue fitting surface of your denture jo denture ka jo surface hai that is going to fit towards your tissue we are going to add small amount of material over there and then we are going to adapt this to your existing size of the jaw few years ago when you had uh, freshly fabricated the denture your jaw was of one size it underwent shrinkage and now there's a new size uh, the shrunken size of your jaw so in realigning procedure what we do is we just simply add in few material and we record the details or we record the uh, measurement of your existing jaw process it give it to you and then you have a fresh set of denture again and you can uh, enjoy using the same dentures with the same amount of grip that you once had but sometimes what happens your jaw will undergo shrinkage it's a continuing phenomena as a, as i have already mentioned so it will go on shrinking and it will reach a certain point that even this realigning procedure might not help you much so in such kind of a cases what happens is your jaw has lost the inherent capacity of providing grip to your dentures so in such kind of a scenario your dentist won't be able to help you with the realigning procedure but yes there is something else that we can do about it so your dentist will uh, hand over a, a pack of adhesive to you now adhesive the word itself is self explanatory so you know that it is something that will help you provide adhesion or a sticking sort of an action to your tissues and your denture so uh, this adhesive will be available in the form of a gel or a powder all you have to do is you have to dispense a, a pea size amount onto your denture just uh, spread it out evenly and you have to fix the denture to your jaw and you will have good amount of retention this will be sufficient for you to make all the dynamic movements while eating chewing talking or smiling your dentures is not going to go loose and you can save yourself that embarrassment next will be Uh, a scenario wherein the dentures were delivered to you and on the same day itself what happens is your denture is loose this problem actually is as good as non existent because we have to understand that this denture is made customized for you so when we customize and make it there's a possibility that a uh, certain amount of area has been over extended do all you have to do is make a visit with your dentist your dentist is going to assess that area trim whatever has been extended and the same set of denture on the same day itself you can start using and if you are wishing for an enhanced retention then your dentist probably will also do a realigning procedure for you and you will be satisfied with the fit that the denture is going to provide the same set of denture on the same day itself it's a very simple and easy and less time consuming procedure to satisfy your needs as 
mention bone uh, if you have reached a point where in uh, because of the bone loss even the adhesive is not working for you or if you are somebody with uh, uh, say uh, expanded needs as in uh, you are someone who is into public speaking if you are a teacher or if you are a musician if you have to uh, constantly make a, pu a public appearance and this problem of loose tension is actually troubling you and is affecting your confidence so what we can do is we can go ahead and place uh, two or three implants in your jaw and we can clip the tension onto it this particular phenomenon is called as implant supported over tension this will help you provide enhanced retention as well this was about the problems because of which your tension can go loose and uh, this was a physiological problem basically because of which uh, your dentures can go loose. There are certain other factors as well, uh, maintenance factors because of which the denture retention can be lost. As in the grip of the denture that was once there can be lost. Dentures can also shrink. Now when will such kind of a scenario happen? We have to understand that. Your dentist will always tell you, reinforce this factor in you that the dentures when not in use should be kept in water because the material with which we make a denture is made in such a way that it has to be kept in a wet field that is our mouth. If it's not in that field, it should be kept in some other field that is wet, that is nothing but water. So make sure you're immersing your denture in normal temperature water, tap water, not hot water or cold water when you're not putting it into use. If you're not doing that, if you're going to put it in open air, what will happen is your denture material is going to lose water molecules and it is going to shrink eventually. And the next day or maybe in few days of such practice when you try to use the same denture, it is not going to fit into your mouth because it has shrunken. It has lost the measurement that was once developed for you. So make sure you're not doing that. Second thing will be the cleaning procedure. Your dentist will always tell you to sit and clean. Probably take a towel on your lap and then clean or probably clean it over a bowl of water so that if at all you are dropping it, it will be dropped directly into the water or onto the towel. So accidental breakage of the denture can be avoided. How can this breakage lead to a loosening of a denture? Once a denture is broken, it's a very common practice for patients to go and get it repaired. To your eye, it may look like, yes, now this is back to normal, how it was before, but that is not the case. The measurements as it was developed once when the denture was freshly made cannot be ever replicated when you are getting a repaired denture. There will be some amount of discrepancy and this discrep uh, discrepancy is good enough for you to develop for uh, rather for you to lose the fit that was initially present you as a patient when you're using the denture you would be the best judge of satisfaction that you're deriving out of a denture so make sure when you're cleaning you clean it in such a way that even if you're dropping it uh, by mistake you're dropping it into a medium that is not going to hurt your denture it's not going to fracture third one uh, about the cleaning procedure will be uh, make sure you're never using toothpaste to clean your denture it can abrade away the material that is there in the denture and uh, what will happen is eventually as in when layer by layer the material is going off, the measurement is changing. So you have to use soft toothbrush and a liquid soap which is diluted in water in order to clean your denture and whenever you are cleaning the surface that is directly going to fit onto your tissue. The surface that is your tissue ke saath, gums ke saath contact pe aa raha hai, us surface pe make sure you are never using paste or you know hard toothbrush aggressive cleaning all that you should be avoiding this denture will last you a very long time if you're following this kind of practice another thing would be it is a very good idea to uh, make a fresh set of denture in every three years because in every three years your bone would undergo considerable amount of change this change is good enough for your dentures to become loose and as and when you're going to use loose dentures constantly without making a new one you are going to cause more damage to yourself. The bone will undergo shrinkage even more at a faster rate. So make sure in every three years you get a new set of dentures. Now this three years is a very vague term. It can vary person to person. So uh, what normally we do is we give a buffer period of three to five years. Don't go all the way to five years. Within say four, four and a half year, it, it is a very good practice to get a new set of denture for yourself so that for a very long time you can enjoy the experience with your new dentures or it's a very good practice to uh, don't go all the way to uh, five years i would suggest within three and a half four years it would be a very good practice to get a new pair of dentures fabricated so that you can enjoy this denture wedding experience for a very long period of time i hope this video was helpful for you
if there is any point wherein you felt like you got stuck and uh, you have certain queries, please get back to me in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to solve them for you. Thank you.